This week, U.S. Senators John McCain and Mark Udall came to Estes Park to learn about climate change in Rocky Mountain National Park and to hold a field hearing at the Town Hall Boardroom. The Senators took a short hike into the meadow at Hollowell Park in Rocky Mountain National Park looking for signs of global warming. On the tour, the Senators were shown dying pine trees infected by beetles spreading as temperatures warm in the Rocky Mountains. After the tour, the Senators held a brief press conference. Thank you for joining uh, Senator McCain and myself here at uh, one of the true gems uh, in Colorado, Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, Senator McCain and I have spent the last uh, four days uh, touring both here and in the Grand Canyon National Park, and we are uh, on track to hold a hearing in about an hour and a half on climate change in our national parks. And I'll be very straightforward. I think we need a national renewable electricity standard. We have one here in Colorado. It's worked very, very well for us. And then finally, I agree with Senator McCain that the nuclear power has to be a significant part of the mix. Pine beetles, is there anything more that you know that you folks can do to help mitigate that, to minimize it? Uh... But I think in the larger sense, the way we respond is by putting a climate plan in place that begins to draw down carbon emissions to me that under the chairmanship of Senator and I to get that information out to the American people. It's not in inexact science in many ways, the conclusions and information that they have gathered. Thank you all. Thanks very much. The Senators then came back to Town Hall in Estes Park and attended a field hearing of the Energy and Natural Resources Subcommittee. At the hearing, McCain and Udall heard testimony from park officials and scientists about how global warming is harming the park system. Rocky Mountain National Park has long been an indicator of how climate change is impacting not only the Rocky Mountains, but national parks in general. The meeting was open to the public, and the boardroom was packed with interested participants, and it was standing room only in the lobby as those who didn't fit in the boardroom watched the hearing on television monitors. The senators discussed what climate change means for Colorado parks and how they are adapting to and mitigating the impacts. Another aspect of the Senator's visit was a personal one for me, as I wore John McCain's POW bracelet since I was a young girl. I have always felt I had a special connection with John McCain. I I was at a town hall meeting in New Hampshire, and mother asked me to wear it. I've been wearing it for three years. When I showed Senator McCain the bracelet, his face softened and he grinned ear to ear. His arms extended out for a hug, which I gladly accepted. He graciously thanked me for wearing his bracelet. Thank you, Thank you so much. A very great. He wore his bracelet for so many years and said prayers for him to come home safely and was so happy when he came home safe. So it's really an honor to meet him now. It's a little worn because I wore it many years. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So. That was long before he was a senator. Yeah, way before. He was captured in 67 and I wore, wore it until he came home. So. I mean, I kept it all these years. That's the cool thing, too, so it's really fun. When I purchased that bracelet so many years ago, I never dreamed it would become a piece of American history. For my bracelet bore the name of a young man who would eventually become a U.S. Senator and a candidate for President, John McCain III.